We have an off-road trailer hitch that we need to install in the front of this trailer. Let's get to work. So I pretty much got everything laid out here to install the articulation hitch onto the trailer. The articulation hitch that I went with was the Max Coupler by CU Off-Road. This particular model is the MC210 and there's a couple ways to install it. We're going to be doing the bolt-on method. I really like that option because we can take it off or on, move it to other trailers, things like that. Or there's also a weld-on method where you can sand some of this uh, paint off and you can put some inch and a half beads four beads on all four corners of the tubing this particular max coupler bolts over a two inch piece of tubing so that's what uh, this channeling is here for and it basically just sets right onto the tongue and then we'll go ahead and take our clamp and just clamp it here to secure it to the tongue so i got it all the way back and then down and then as far as the receiving end, the part that goes onto the Jeep, um, once this thing's lowered, it, it's got this little bucket with some welded on seats here. And it's really, it's really convenient because it kind of guides this part in and then it just goes in through. And then it, the, the kit also comes with this pen and then it has some articulation motion. So it can go this way and this way. Now this is the hitch that most people use. Um, I'm not going to be using this one in this video. I'm going to be using this adjustable hitch. You can flip it this way or this way onto the, the hitch of the Jeep. So this is the one I'm going to be bolting it to. And I'll show you that after we get all of this installed, the safety chains, and then I said, I'm going to be installing this handle right here so we can lift up and move this trailer around. So we have a lot to work to do. Let's start drilling some holes. So I'm gonna start by making some pilot holes here. I got my half inch drill bit and I'm basically just gonna tap it and mark my holes. All right, so I've got the max coupler bolted on. I just put the through bolts in. I'm gonna run these nuts on and then I'll tighten those up and we'll torque them. We'll come back to torque them later. I'm gonna drill another hole here so I can put a third bolt going this way. And I think that will be super solid mount to this tubing. This stuff is anti-spatter, works really well keeping the slag or anything, little dingleberries off of the weld material. All right, so the torque specs for a half 13 bolt, is gonna be 80 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down to 80. Probably already got them there, but I'm just gonna double check them. My torque wrench. So there's 80 there, and I'll do this side as well. All three bolts, get them torqued down to 80 foot pounds. All right, so I'm very happy with the install on that. Got the third bolt, this is more of like a security bolt, but uh, everything's looking good. I think the safety chains came out really good, and all the welds turned out pretty good. I really like the sheathing to protect the metal from getting beat up and scratched up over time. Got the ground bolted back in onto the tongue for the electrical. And yeah, I'm really liking how this mounted up. Let me give you guys a measurement from the box to the end. And I'm exactly 40 inches. So three foot, four inches. All right, so here's your receiving side of the Max Coupler. Now, if you're gonna order this, it's gonna be part number MC169. And here's the stack up. This is what it's gonna look like. You have two thrust washers between a frame and that framework is what I call like the bucket. 
and basically the bushing of the, of the other end of the tongue, it just seats right in here. It has some really nice uh, seats for that bushing to set in, and it's an exact fit. As soon as it just seats right in, the pin slips right in, and I really like how convenient that is um, as far as an engagement relationship between a receiving end and the tongue of the trailer. I really, I really um, like that option and how they have this set up. And then that's the stack up. It's basically a thrust washer here on the top and on the bottom and then a jam nut. You're going to want to make sure it's snug, hand tight, so there's no play back and forth and it's not loose. So I have mine just hand tight to where there's no play back and forth between the bolt and the frame. And then um, there's this large nut and washer. And essentially, this will set right in over your piece like so. So I'm gonna be setting it down like that and then running my nut and my bolt. And the torque spec on this is gonna be 100 foot pounds. So you're gonna need some tools now, most people, they may not have this three quarter inch hex Allen, which fits perfectly on the top of the bolt. Um, you can get creative. There's other methods. You can get a three quarter inch hex head bolt and then stack up some nuts, jam them, and then essentially you've made your own tool for this if you don't have this particular Allen. Now, um, I have the Allen and then the nut down here I'm going to be using this 36 millimeter socket to torque down that nut. So I've got some Loctite right here. This stuff is pretty cheap. You can find it on Amazon. I'll list a link in the description box for all the materials. And then I'm just going to throw some of that Loctite on there and start tightening up this nut. All right, guys. So that's 80 foot pounds. I'm going to check to make sure there's no slop in here. And I actually can feel a little bit of slop. So that's what we do not want. So I'm gonna back this back off, tighten up my nut, and then retorque. All right, so now I have movement, which is good, and I don't have any play in the body of the receiver. So I really like that setup. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my torque wrench up to 100 foot-pounds and lock it down. So there you have it. That's essentially the tools and everything you need to set up the receiving side of the max coupler to the hitch or the vehicle side of the max coupler. So now if you pull the pin, you're gonna definitely see a Zerk fitting. This body is serviceable. You're gonna wanna take some grease and pump some grease in here, maybe like one or two pumps. For me, it's gonna be one or two pumps. For you, it might be more. See, so I'm starting to see grease coming out. I'm gonna stop right there. And if you can see it, it's down here on the bottom. A lot of the grease went right to the bottom. And this stuff, you wanna wipe it clean really good because it attracts dust and dirt. And you just wanna clean it off as much as, as good as you can. So now let's go ahead and put this on the Jeep and hook up the trailer to the Jeep. Now I'm getting ready to hook up the Max Coupler and I did want to mention that this part here is serviceable. There's a Zerk fitting on the top. Go ahead and pump some grease until grease comes out of the fitting. And you can see grease starting to squirt out on mine. Very nice. Alright, so let's hook up the Max Coupler. I'm just going to go ahead and set it on like this. And it's done. Push my pin through and hook up the powder pin. And we are hooked up. Then I'll go ahead and hook up my safety chains. You want to put an X on these. And an X there. And then I'll go ahead and plug in my electrical. But we are ready to hit the trail. Now it's time to take it off-road. Let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. I think I like the trailer and camper on this side over there on the other side of the tailgate. That way I can still get into the driver's side 
door and I still as of course have access to the back of the Jeep. I can still cook and I can still get back here, set up my camper and things like that. I really like this option and I'll definitely be setting it up like this out on the trail. All right, so here you can really see the benefit to having this Max Coupler articulation hitch. So you can see the degree of twist or what we call articulation on the basically the main tongue of the trailer and when I made this turn it kind of had to take it a little bit sharp and it caused the rear wheel to basically climb up this rock so there's gonna be definitely a new set of challenges when off-roading with the trailer but uh, here is an example of of those challenges and what the articulation hitch offers articulation of this hitch is really important we're going up this hill and then I'm actually about to go straight down into what a, what looks to be a ditch with some water in it so I'm gonna have to actually back this up and kind of get my way out of this situation So guys, as you can see, we had a lot of fun getting this trailer up to our local off-road park, the dog and, the, and my son. Uh, we always have a good time up there. Spent a couple hours getting used to the trailer behind the JK and seeing how it tracks and articulates and does off-road. And overall, I thought it was pretty good. Since then, we did shorten the tongue up to 40 inches from the box to the end. So it's, it's definitely going to be... Um, uh, Possibly a little bit different once we get back out on the trail, you know, using the trailer again. But uh, I think this length of the tongue is going to be perfect. And I'm pretty pleased with the articulation hitch. Now, I've never actually used a lock and roll, but there are some other uh, good brand uh, articulation hitch, off-road hitches that you can also look into. Uh, lock and roll, I've heard of, of good things like that. And this one, it was local, so I wanted to pick this one up. I thought um, support local businesses as well as uh, save a little bit on shipping um, what really sold me is that it was made in america and it's military grade which is always a plus as well and the trailer is starting to look like the m416 um, the older older style trailer so 
what we have going on next in part four should be my last build video of this series is we're going to be installing some fenders on this trailer and then hopefully we can get a good family wheeling video and get this thing all set up and you guys can see it so i'm waiting for that i'll list all the parts and materials in the material description box below and we'll see you guys on the next one have a good day peace out we made it